looking forward to moving and breathing with all of you. Thank you so much for being here. We'll go ahead and get started as we always do at Yoga to the People in a child pose. So go ahead and settle your hips to your heels and allow your forehead to rest heavy on the mat. Um, and before you do, um, something that I've noticed in my practice, you know, especially when we're in our apartment, it's really, really easy to get distracted. I think it takes actually way more commitment to do your practice in your home than it does to like go to a studio and carve out the time to be there. So um, do the best you can to just stay on this island of your mat for one hour. And I don't mean just physically. Like if you tend to practice with your phone next to you, like shove it away. Um, because if you notice throughout your practice, you might rub up against a moment of resistance, a moment where you feel challenged. This is very normal and it's very intentional actually. And if you have um, a distraction to lean on, you're more likely to grab for it if it's there. Um, with that being said, if you need to have your phone by you, please do, uh, it is your practice. That and everything else I say will just be a suggestion. It will all be an invitation um, to, for you to create the best experience you can for you for the next 59 minutes. It is a very individual journey, but we are all on it together. So we'll start with a breath all together. Please exhale your air out with an S. Allow an inhale to rush in through your nose, coat the back of your throat, fill you up. And H A. Now with your eyes closed, start to rock your forehead side to side on your mat, massaging that space in between your eyebrows and perhaps even feeling your brain get heavier inside of your skull. Now start to crawl your fingers towards the front edge of your mat and invite a pushing and pulling sensation into this pose. So hips pull back, fingers crawl forward in an effort to yawn your body open. Can you stretch under your armpits or the sides of your body? And then close your eyes, with your eyes still closed, you can press your palms down and curl your toes under and send your hips high and heels low into your first downward facing dog, still moving it around, right? Bend one knee and then the other. Uh, you can bend both knees at once a few times to broaden through your lower back. And you will hear that reminder to close your eyes a lot during this practice. The more you do, the more you cultivate your ability to be internally focused and externally aware. And start to clean it up. So hips are high, heels low. Look at your feet. They're about six inches apart. So you can imagine your skull fitting into that space. And then bend your knees a little bit, stick your butt up higher and feel the slope of your spine lengthen. Pull your belly up and in towards your spine. Let your chest roll towards your thighs and your armpits towards your ankle. Spread your fingers wide and use your arm strength to shift some of the weight into your legs. Heavy your head. Inhale, float your right leg up. And keeping your left heel heavy, lift your right leg higher and higher and higher. And when you can't lift it anymore, Bend your knee, roll open your hip, and move it around. You can make some circles with your knee to mobilize your hip. You can roll out your ankle. You can wiggle your toes. And then as you inhale, squeeze your right leg straight. Come onto your left toes and step your right foot in between your hands till your toes line up with your fingers. Drop your left knee down so you're kneeling on the floor. 
and interlace your fingers on top of your right thigh for a low lunge. And if you notice that your right heel wants to lift up off the mat, spider crawl the foot more forward so that you can send the small of your back towards your right heel. Kick your left foot down so much that your left knee feels lighter and use the strength of your left butt to open up the front of your left hip. Now it might feel edgy here. If it does, great. Stay here, stay tethered to your exhale. If you wanna go deeper, you can bring your hands to your lower back. Pull your belly up and into your palms with your chest and look back to go back. Stretching the front of your body from your left second toe to the bottom of your left eyelid. Hips more forward. Look back a little further. And then slowly come on up. Hands down to frame your right foot. Curl your left toes under. Step your right foot back, upper push-up plank. Downward facing dog. Hips high and heels low. Inhale your left leg up. And then lift it higher and higher and higher and higher. Stretch your legs apart and bend your knee and roll it open. And again, do it with your eyes closed. Eliminate that visual perception of reality. So you can focus more on what it feels like. Inhale, come on to your right toes, kick your left leg higher. And exhale, step your foot in between your hands, toes line up with your fingers. Drop your back knee down, point your toes, and interlace your fingers on top of your left thigh. Now, even though um, this is a pose where you probably feel a lot of stretching, especially in the front of your hips, flexibility never happens as a byproduct of being passive. Okay, you have to use your strength. Take your both feet down and energetically draw them in towards one another. Send your hips more towards your left heel and pull your left belly away from your left thigh. Now hands on your lower back, belly into palms, lift your chest and look back to go back. Kick your back foot down hard. Use your right butt. Take an inhale to stretch your throat as you squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. And then slowly come on up, plant your hands down. Step your left foot back, upper push-up plank, and hips high, heels low, downward facing dog. Inhale, tilt your tail up. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, walk to the front of your mat and hang heavy in a forward fold. Separate your feet a comfortable distance. And bend your knees to let your belly drape over your thighs and your spine to spill forward. You might grab an opposite elbow or interlace your fingers at the base of your skull if that feels good. It helps gravity help you if you'd like, but you know, also remember that it will always have something to do with just letting it, just letting the spine spill forward, just letting the back of your neck soften, just letting your head hang heavy. And then relax your arms if you haven't yet and place two fists between your feet. Measure your inner hip width. Inhale, half lift, hands on shins or thighs. Stop when your spine feels flat and breathe here. Draw your shoulders away from your ears as you arch your chest a little forward. Lengthen your armpits away from your hip bones and the base of your skull away from your shoulders. Inhale to rock your body weight a little more forward. And exhale to forward full, let it go. Following inhale, sweep your arms all the way up and stand up for mountain pose, biceps, frame your ears. And again, close your eyes. You're standing in a way that's very familiar. Your feet are side by side. Close your eyes and feel for a root to rise. Feel for standing on your feet in a way that keeps the back of your heart lifted. Imagine strings pulling your inner arches up towards your ankles to light up your inner thighs. Lengthen down through your tail. 
Pull your low belly up and in and feel the dome of your ribs float up off your waist. Reach up through your pinky fingers to squeeze straighter through your inner elbows, but allow your shoulders to rinse down your back. Flutter out your lips. And then eyes open and look up. Inhale, get 10 feet tall and then stretch back. Open your heart, your throat, hips forward, arms back. And then dive forward, forward full. Again, inhale all the way up and back. Press down through your heels. Lift your chest. Use your strong arms to reach back. And then dive forward, forward fold. One more time. Inhale all the way up and back. To the degree that it feels good. Hips forward, strong arms. And then dive forward, forward fold. Really nice. Half lift on your inhale, long spine. And then step your feet back and pause in an upper push-up plank. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Make sure your wrists are on straight and spread your fingers wide. Draw your pubic bone a little towards your navel and lengthen your tail towards your heels so you keep your pelvic bone neutral. Keep your legs strong. Keep your belly firm. Inhale to shift the shoulders past your wrist. And exhale to slowly lower halfway down. Pause when your elbows hug your wrist. Inhale for up dog. Pop the feet down. Thighs up, heart up. Squeeze your shoulders back and down behind you. And exhale, downward facing dog. Hips high and heels low. Inhale, float your right leg up. Come on to your left toes and step your right foot in between your hands. Toes line up with your fingers. Dial your left heel down and inhale, rise up for your warrior one. And use your exhale to arise. Sit low into your lunge, right knee stacked over your right ankle. Push your back foot down through the mat. Pull up on the muscles of your back leg towards your butt like a stocking. And spiral your left hip forward as you gently tug your right hip back, getting them towards square. That looks great, Jess. A little bit more lengthened down through your tail. Try to iron out your lower back a bit. Yes. And then stay lifted through your chest, biceps by your ears. Arms back a little more if you can, love. Good. Now listen closely. Sit a little lower. Inhale, lift your chest. Look back to reach back. Exhale, hands down. Step your right foot back to meet your left feet together and roll over to your left side. Lift your right arm for side arm balance. Stack your heels, hips, shoulders, and wrists. Push your hips up to the ceiling so much, it's like you're trying to get the sole of your left foot on the mat. Now rotate your right bicep over your right ear. Good, Shane. Lift your right leg up off of your left. And if you like to catch your knee or your toe, you're welcome to, but try to hold the pose as you switch the gaze and look up towards the ceiling. Nice, Elakshi. Slow inhale to push the floor away. Slower exhale back to upper push up and lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Remember the shoulder, squeeze them back and down. That was nice, Miriam. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg up. Come on to your right toes and step your left foot in between your hands. Good. Rise up for your warrior one on a sweet inhale. And use the exhale to ground yourself through your heels. Sit lower into your lunge. And then close your eyes. You're not standing in as familiar of a way as when your feet were side by side but you are standing on the feet that are yours, the ones that you walk on every day, the ones you know how to stand on. So can you stand on them in a way that keeps the back of your heart lifted? Can you get your arms straighter and energize through your palms? Okay? As you spread your fingers, 
you might even feel this like really subtle buzzing at the base between each digit. Heavy your front heel, sink your hips lower. Inhale, lift your chest, look back to reach back, strong arms. And then hands down to frame the foot. Step left foot back to meet your right, feet together, and roll over to your right side. Lift your left arm. And hips up, 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 up. Yeah, warming up the sides of the body. Left bicep over your left ear. Left leg up off of your right. And then switch the gaze, look up to the ceiling, stay with it for three. Push the floor away once more. Slowly exhale to upper push-up plank. Good bow, keep exhaling as you lower halfway. Inhale, upward dog, suspended between feet and hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, now keep moving on your own. Take warrior one and side plank on the right side and on the left side. And the rhythm to which you move is the rhythm of your breath. Every slow, steady inhale guides you into one moment. And every complete exhale takes you to the next. Because when you finish a yoga practice feeling really good, it has um, way less to do with the poses themselves or what poses we did today. And so, so much with how you chose to breathe inside of them. Because your breath is this, it's a beautiful tool. And because it's happening all the time while, while we're alive, um, we tend to take it for granted. So cultivate your ability to use your breath here. It's kind of like love. It's kind of like peace, right? I really believe that these are things that every human being is born with. We have them all inherently. We just forget about them because they stop being our way of being. They're not the first choice anymore. So close your eyes and choose it. Choose breath. Choose love and keep choosing it until it becomes your way of being again. You're still moving, keep moving. If you're back in downward facing dog, if it's available to you, please exhale all your air out with an S8. Take it a slow, sweet inhale. Hold it gently at the top. And HA. Ripple forward into your upper push up plank. And then lower down onto your elbows for a forearm plank. So just replace your hands with your elbows. Then elbows directly underneath the shoulders. And interlace your fingers and look at your thumb. We'll come into a dolphin pose from here. So start to walk your feet in towards your elbows as much as you can. And when you can't walk in anymore, you can drop your head heavy between your biceps. And it probably doesn't touch the floor because you're pushing out of your shoulders so much. Share the weight between your arms and your legs. Push fronts of thighs towards backs of thighs to open the backs of your legs. All right, stay with it. You'll like what's next. Just stay with it for like five, four, hips higher, three. You got this, Daniela. Two, dials closed, knees down, arms forward, eyes closed. And you go from 100% effort to 0% effort so quickly, all of the numbers in between are erased. Because when it comes to commitment, 100% and 0% are the exact same thing. Please exhale all your old efforts away. Inhale, new awareness. Inhale, float your right leg up. 
oh, excuse me, come into your downward facing dog. And then inhale, float your right leg up. And exhale, step it in between your hands. Dial the back heel down. Slow inhale to rise up for warrior one. And even slower exhale to peel it open for your warrior two. Right arm forward, left arm back, chin over your front shoulder. Nice, take a little bit of a bigger step to accommodate your hips peeling open. Push your heels down through the mat and energetically draw them in towards one another. So you feel your inner thighs light up. You feel yourself creating a cradle of support for your hips that you might even sit a little bit deeper into. It's a beautiful warrior too, Jessica. Now rotate your chin a little bit more forward over your front finger. Inhale, flip your right palm up and reach forward. Exhale, stretch straight up. Inhale, then reach for the back wall and sustain it here for a reverse warrior, side body stretch. Keep your right heel heavy and your right knee bent. Tuck your tail under and firm up your belly so you support this side body stretch. Take a slow inhale to sit lower and reach back further. You got it, Val. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Keep exhaling to step back and to lower halfway down. It's a long one. Inhale, upward facing dog, puff the sides of your ribs forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Back heel down. Inhale to rise up for your warrior one. And exhale to peel it open for your warrior two. Left arm forward, right arm back. Chin over your front shoulder. And again, close your eyes. Like so much of our reality is predicated on, on what we see. We live in such a visually stimulated uh, world. So close your eyes in an attempt to open up your vision. Because your yoga practice isn't about what it looks like or what anyone around you looks like or your idea of what it should look like. Feel for it. Feel the power of your heels grounding down through the floor. Feel the strength of your arms as you hug the muscles tight around your bones. Feel the stretch along the right side of your neck as you rotate your chin a little bit more forward over your left shoulder. Then inhale to flip your left palm up and reach forward. And exhale to stretch straight up. Inhale to then reach for the back wall and sustain it here with your breath with your intention, with whatever of value is showing up for you inside this moment. That looks good, Nina. Can you actually push your right palm into your left thigh and then get your left arm straighter? Yeah, so find your edge. Inhale, sit low, reach back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Step back and lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, sides of ribs puff forward. Exhale. Downward facing dog. And then take it on your own. Warrior one, warrior two, and reverse. And if you want to move big today, move real big. And if you want to move small, move small. My only ask is that you move to a breath that doesn't get stuck anywhere. Not in the throat. Not in the wrist. Not in the ankle. And if you're back in your down dog before your neighbor, keep it really strong and active. Keep fingers spread wide head heavy. And as you pull your belly up and in towards your spine, imagine the contents of your abdomen could slide into your rib cage and support your shoulders. And then heavier head more than you think you are. If you're still moving, keep moving. 
You are exactly where you should be wherever you are. If you are back in your downward facing dog, if it's available to you, please exhale all your air out with an S-H. Take it a deep, deep inhale. And a J. Inhale, tilt your tail up. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, walk or lead with your hips to hop forward into a half lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your big toes together to touch. And inhale to sit your hips back and down, arms up, palms pressed for a thunderbolt. And keep the weight back into your heels and lengthen through your tail. Pull your low belly up and in to support it. And if you can pull up on the space in front of your sitting bones, it'll help you find a pathway of energy up through your spine, a little bit of buoyancy in the upper half. Take an inhale to sit lower and stretch your arms straighter. Hands to your heart on the exhale. Elbows in one straight line. Inhale to puff your chest. And exhale to twist to your right. Hook your left elbow over your right thigh. And look up over your right shoulder, rotating your neck spine. Draw your left knee back a bit. Good. Sit your hips lower than your heart. And lengthen through your middle back. Now, if you want to fly away, you can tee your arms apart. Maybe left hand touches the floor to help you leverage your chest open. Or maybe you bind by wrapping them around your thigh. Looks good, Kevin. Hips a little lower if you can. Good. Everyone roll your chest open a little more. And slowly draw everything back to center. Hips low. Lean back. Twist left. Right elbow, left thigh. Flick over your left shoulder. And then you can fly away or bind if you want it, uh, if you're best supported. So Robert, your hips just swung out a bit to the right. Can you draw them back to the left? And then roll your right ribs more under. Yes. All right, let it get fiery, let it get challenging. In those moments is when you get to practice compassion and peace and integrity. So sit a little lower, roll open a little further, and then slowly come back to center, please. Pause there for a moment. Now extend your arms up. Straight, strong arms. Keep reaching through your fingertips as you sink your hips lower and lower and lower and lower. And as gracefully as you can, use your hands if you need to, come into your boat pose. Sitting on your sitting bones, shins parallel to the mat. Nice. And then press your palms together. Okay, you already twisted using some leverage. Try to twist just as deeply without the leverage, just your core strength. Inhale to lift your chest. Exhale, twist to the right. Now look over your right shoulder and twist a little deeper. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. And then twist a little deeper. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Separate your hands. Inhale, knees to chest. Exhale, lower. Lengthen and hover. Inhale, slow. Knees to chest, belly in. Exhale, lower. Lengthen and hover. Inhale, use muscle, not momentum. Exhale, lower, lengthen, and hover. Inhale, use your belly, not your jaw. Exhale, lower, lengthen, hover, and stay for five, for four. Now don't scissor kick your legs. And release into 10 seconds of bicycle crunches. Interlace your fingers behind your head and go for it. Opposite elbow to opposite knee for 10. Get your lengthening leg low and long for eight. 
think tip of shoulder blade to opposite knee for five. Build that fire, go faster. You got three. Stay with it, go into it. You got two. And then hug your knees into your chest. Soften your belly into your thighs. And you can rock a little bit side to side. Maybe circle your knees clockwise. Try to get your low back on the floor. And then counterclockwise. All right, from here, we're gonna come into a tabletop. So you can start to rock up and down the length of your spine, build some momentum. And as you come up, try to go through seated by crossing your ankles and coming onto all four, shoulders over wrists and hips over your knees. Inhale, draw your belly towards the floor, stretch out your core for your cow tilt. And exhale, round your spine, pull your belly in and heavy your head for your calf. Inhale, belly down, open your chest, stretch your throat, look up. Exhale, slow, shove the floor away with your hands and your feet and round out your spine. Come back to a neutral spine so you're not back bending or rounding. Pull your low belly in to support your lower back. We're gonna do some tabletop push-ups. You'll start by shifting your shoulders past your wrists and then bending the elbows, bring the top of your head to the mat so you can see your fingers. Now squeeze it back up to all fours. Shift the weight forward, bend the elbows like you're setting up for a tripod. Squeeze it on up. Good, three more. Shoulders forward, elbows bent. Keep your belly firm. Squeeze it up. And two more. Shoulders forward, bend the elbows, top of head down. Squeeze it up. All right, last one. Shoulders forward, bend the elbows, top of head down. Squeeze it up, all fours and then curl your toes under for upper push-up plank. We're just here for a moment. Strong legs, firm belly. Inhale, shoulders past the wrist. Exhale, lower just halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Stretch from your toes through your eyeballs. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good for you. Exhale all your old efforts away. Take in a sweet, sweet inhale. Inhale, tilt your tail up. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, walk or hop forward into your half lift, lengthen it out. And exhale, forward fold. Nice half lift there. Bring your big toes together to touch, please. And just for a moment this time, inhale, sit down, arms up, thunderbolt pose. Okay, when in your thunderbolt, spiral your biceps towards your face to get your arms straighter. That's exactly it, Charlie. All right, now slowly stand all the way up. Separate your hands a little bit. Identify your left arm, swing it under your right. Cross your elbows, wrists, and thumbs, face your face. Okay, now bring your thumbs to your third eye, between your eyebrows and a little higher. Good, keep the weight in your heels, lift your chest up, and look back to go back, leading with your elbows. Keep the weight in your heels. Use your glutes and the thighs underneath them to support your hips pressing forward. So nice, Julie. Keep lifting your elbows up off your chest and send them back behind you. Take one more inhale to look back one more inch and then slowly come on up. Fingers below your nose. Sit back and down into your seat. Now lift your left leg up and over your right and squeeze high at your inner thigh. Draw your left hip up and back, right hip down and forward. Trust more of the weight into your right heel 
as you lean your chest back and push your heart into your bicep. Switch the gaze to the floor a couple feet in front of you and slowly hinge forward like a half lift feeling in your spine. Once left elbow touches left thigh, unravel your arms so your palms face down by your sides. Nice chin. Now lift your left leg up and extend it behind you for airplay. Make a capital letter T with your body. Try to get both of your legs straight and your belly firm. Bring your hands to heart center, nice and slow. Good. And just very briefly, extend your arms out in front of you, biceps frame your ears. Get as tall as you can through your body. Now put a deep bend in your right knee and land on your back toes for a high lunge. Biceps frame your ears. Nice, Jeff. Good. Ching, take a bigger step so you can come higher up on your back toes. Yes, and get your hips lower to the floor. Good. Inhale, squeeze your arms straighter. Warrior two on the exhale. Right arm forward, left arm back, chin over your front shoulder. Take an inhale to sit low and take up space. As you exhale, squeeze your right leg straight. We'll set up for triangle. Inhale, reach forward, forward, forward. Exhale, right hand, right shin, left palm open. Okay, now pull up on your shin skin. So you can tuck your right butt under and lean your chest back. Rotate your chin to your top shoulder. So you move a nice twist to your next spine. All right, now rotate your left bicep over your left ear. Reach out in front of you. And bring your right arm parallel to your left for a core strengthener, like you're holding a giant beach ball in between your palms. Get those arms straight and strong. Gently lean your left ribs back, maybe glance under your left armpit. Good, now as you inhale, stand up with the torso. And exhale, warrior two, take up space. Inhale, broaden your collarbone. Exhale, side angle, right hand inside your right foot, left palm open. Push your arm into your leg and your leg back into your arm as you tuck your right butt under. Rotate from your left shoulder to drop your arm, left arm behind you. And you can thread your right arm underneath for your bind. If that's not available, you can bring your right elbow onto your right thigh for a half bind. You have it, um, Selma. Drop your left arm behind you if you can and grab for your right thigh with your left hand. Yes, yes, perfect. Now try to get your top arm straighter and roll your chest open to the ceiling. Nice, take one more inhale to roll it open. Lizard pose, two hands inside your right foot. Move your right foot to the right, come on to your back toes and sway your hips forward and back, forward and back. On a back hinge, drop your back knee down, point your toes and maybe lower down to your elbows. Yeah. So WK, get your right elbow inside your right knee. Yes, there you go. And even here, you have to use your strength. Kick your right left foot down into the mat to send your hips more forward and down towards the floor. Use every inhale to lengthen from right hip through right armpit. And every exhale to roll your right ribs more forward more down. Maybe you t even take an inhale to look forward and broaden your chest more. And an exhale to melt more of your left thigh down and re-heavy your head. So nice, Julie. All right. If you are on your elbows, please come up onto your hands. Curl your left toes under and squeeze your back leg straight. Now send your right foot back to meet your left without shifting your hips. Good. Inhale, shift the weight forward. And exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, big up dog. Shoulders roll back and down. Gorgeous, Dana. 
Sierra, sorry. Exhale, downward facing dog. Still doing it, girl. Still doing it. And then just be here in this moment. So you hear uh, teachers often talk about this idea of being present. Um, and it's really important because we are very obsessed with time. Our whole life revolves around what time it is. But time is very linear. It's the past and it's the future. When you're truly present, you're operating on a vertical scale. When you're present, you can only go deeper. So close your eyes. Go a little deeper. And exhale all your air out. And take it a deep, deep inhale. And H A. Okay, inhale, tilt your tail up. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, walk or teach yourself to float forward into your half lift. And exhale, forward fold. Big toes together to touch. Inhale, sit low, arms up, palms pressed for your thunderbolt. Squeeze your knees, squeeze your palms. Take an inhale to sit lower and reach your arms straighter. And then stand straight up. Separate your hands. Right arm under your left. Cross elbows, cross wrists. Thumbs face your face. Now bring your thumbs to your third eye. Weight in the heel. Inhale, lift up. Look back, go back. Try to keep your thumbs connected to your third eye here. Yeah, so as you lift your elbows up, you really mobilize that sticky middle upper back in so many of us. That looks nice, Val. Try to use your butt strength to send your hips more forward. That's the difference. Beautiful. No, so good. Go back a little further. You got three, two, and then slowly come on up. Fingers below your nose. Sit back and sit down. Now lift your right leg up and over your left and squeeze high at your inner thigh. Okay. And then just be in your eagle pose. You know that we go into a pose directly from here. So take a moment here, right? Keep your eyes focused on something steady and don't worry about the wobbles. They actually mean you're stable when you wobble. Now slowly start to hinge forward. Right elbow touches your right thigh. And unravel your arms. Palms face down by your side. Eyes focus. Lift your right leg up and extend it behind you for your airplane. Right, balancing is a process. On and off your yoga mat. You waver, you tumble, and you keep bringing it back to center. Bring your hands to your heart nice and slow and extend your arms out long, biceps with your ears. Take an inhale to get as tall as you can. And exhale to land in your high lunge. Bend your front knee deeply, biceps frame your ears. Inhale to sit low and stretch up. Exhale, warrior two, left arm forward, right arm back, chin forward. Inhale to sit lower and broaden your collarbone. Squeeze your left leg straight on the exhale. Inhale, stretch forward, forward, forward. Exhale, left hand, left shin, right palm open for triangle. Now, yes, I'm saying hand to shin. There are so many traditions of triangle, right? You might grab the big toe. You might work on hand to the floor. I like to put my hand on my shin. Because as I pull up on my shin, I can tuck my left butt under and get a delicious stretch on the outside of my right hip. Rotate your right bicep over your right ear. Stretch right side body. Now bring left arm parallel to the right for your core strengthener. And try to lengthen through your left side wrist. Inhale, lean your right shoulder back. Good. 
stands up with the torso on your inhale and exhale sit low and peel open for your warrior two inhale reach through your arm exhale side angle left hand inside your left foot and right palm open and rotate from your right shoulder drop your arm behind you and then maybe you thread your left arm underneath and grab for your top fingertips. If it's easy to grab for your top fingers, you got it, Charlie. You grab for your top wrist with your bottom hand. Look at you, Robert. And then you squeeze your right arm as straight as yours will go. Get it, Kevin. Yes, so squeeze your shoulders behind you. Inhale, look up to the ceiling and inspire your heart. And then release two hands inside your left foot. Come on to your back toes and sway your hips forward and back, forward and back. On your back hinge, drop that back knee down, point the toes, and then lower down, maybe to your right elbow, maybe to your left elbow. A place where, you know, you feel something. Definitely about feeling things. But you can still keep your breath calm and steady. It's really important that you're willing to challenge yourself in your yoga practice. And you learn how to breathe there that when challenging moments show up off of your yoga mat, your response is to breathe there. Take your back foot down to send your hips more forward and down. That looks great, Melanie. Looks really nice, Abby, good. Good, Mac. Mac, look forward for a breath to try to lengthen your spine more. Yeah, now get more of your right thigh down and then re-heavy your head. That looks great. All right, come up onto your hands if you're not already. Curl your right toes under, straight back leg, and send your left leg back to meet it. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Nice, Matt. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful up dog there, Ivy. Okay, exhale, all your air out. We're going to see full inhale. And H A. All right, before we go into half pigeon, I've noticed that this is when people start to taper off. We have 10 more minutes of class. Try to stay committed to yourself. All right, inhale, float your right leg up. Exhale, swing it through, half pigeon. Bring your knee wider than your shoulder. Flex your toes towards your shin, square off your hips, and then lengthen forward and out. And I think it happens here because this is when things slow down. This is when we get physically kind of quiet, right? So then the mind starts to do other things. We think about all the other things we could be doing other than half pigeon. So remember, this is your opportunity to go deeper. Do it on your exhale. And when you inhale, keep it steady and find the very peak of it. And when you exhale, it's so empty. 
that you get a little air hungry for that following inhale. And it's really good work. It's the kind of work that you can't, that no one else can do for you, right? We live in a world where there's an app for all of it, walking your dog, raising your kids, doing your laundry. Not this. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, hold it. H A. With your eyes closed, slowly walk your hands underneath your shoulders to lift your chest and sit a little bit deeper into your hips. Nice, Daniela. Then curl your left toes under, step your right foot back, upper push-up plank. And you can either move through a flow or go right back to your downward dog. Once you exhale back to your downward dog, use your following inhale to float your left leg up. And bend your knee and swing it through into your half pigeon. Knee wider than your shoulder. Try to push down with that pinky edge side of your left foot as you square off your hips and lengthen yourself forward over your front shin. And because this is the kind of work that only you can do for you, I mean, that's why Yoga to the People has always been uh, and always will be a donation-based uh, studio. So that you can do this work as often as you need to. Because it is such good, important work. It's also why if you ever go to any of our studios, you won't even see a teaching schedule. Because it's only the kind of work you can do for you. And when you ever hear a yoga teacher say something that resonates with you, it's not because they can read your mind or that they really know what you're going through. No yoga teacher has any idea what you're ever going through. But we are all vibrationally connected. So we're all going through we're all going through it together, whatever it is. So as this group, please. Together. Exhale all your air out. Drain your lungs. I'm taking a real sweet inhale. Suspend it at the top. And let it fly. And a little differently this time, walk your hands under your shoulder to lift up your chest. And then lean a little bit to your left and slide your right leg out from behind you. And we're gonna set up for a seated spinal twist. So left heel towards your right butt, point the toes, and right ankle outside your left knee. Now bring your uh, right hand behind you, 
stretch your left arm up. Reach up and stretch through your side body and then twist to your right. Hook your elbow over your knee and push your largest leg bone away from you using your largest arm bone. Maybe you grab with, for your left knee with your left hand. Rotate your chin over your right shoulder. Pull your low belly towards your low back. And as everything from your navel down twists a little bit to your left, everything above your navel twists to your right. Get taller through the base of your skull and twist deeper into your pose. Now slowly come back to center. And you have two options here. You can simply switch the legs or you can try this transition. Place your hands down to your left. Both of your feet have to stay on the floor as you lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Walk your hands counterclockwise around and then Sit back down and end up with your other leg on top. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. All right. And then bring your left hand behind you. You got it, Julie. Bring your right arm up. Stretch up. And then twist. It's the party trick of the day. Bring your chin over your left shoulder. Push arm into leg and leg into arm. Try to push your left butt more down into the mat. Lift your chest up towards the ceiling. And then as you look over your left shoulder, try to open your chest towards the wall behind you a little bit more. Take one more inhale to lengthen and exhale to twist a little deeper. Slowly come back to center. You can take a one breath counter twist looking over your right shoulder. And then come back to center and lie flat on your back, please. So head is on the mat, palms face up to the ceiling. Uh, we have a, just a couple minutes left. So I'm gonna talk you through a plow shoulder stand if you would like to take to end class with an inversion. If there's something else you're itching for, go ahead. Um, otherwise, take an early savasana. If you want shoulder stand, you reverse somersault your legs up over your head and catch your hips with your hands. You can extend your legs up towards the ceiling as you just look down the center line of your body. Yes, uh, Manabu, get your elbows more close together. Yes, and then bring your heels more towards the camera and your hips more towards the wall behind you. Nice. All right, if you want plow, you can gently let your feet fall towards the floor behind you. And if they touch, that's fine. And if they don't touch, that's fine too. Then you keep your hands on your lower back for support. Maybe you bring your knees to your forehead. Maybe they open up wider for your deaf man's pose. And if you could do so comfortably enough, close your eyes. That looks nice, Marily. Try to just stay with it. Feel for your heart dropping between your shoulder blades and your tail floating up towards the ceiling. Heart between the shoulder, tail floats away. And then with the firmness in your belly and the softness behind your knees, slowly, slowly, Roll yourself all the way down into your final savasana. And when you get there, take your time. But once you're there, open up your legs as wide as the mat. Palms face up to the ceiling. Eyes closed. Feel for relaxing on a really deep level. Thank you so much for your spirit. Thank you so much for your work. Um, as I said before, we're donation based. It's the kindness of our community that uh, keeps this thing going. We don't have any sponsor. We don't have any rich uncle. Um, it's, it's all of us. 
So I put a link, um, if you are in a position to donate, the link is in the chat box. You can also really help out by spreading the word, maybe posting about this class on social media. We have an open house for our teacher training at 1 p.m. tomorrow and a Tantra Talk seminar with me and Rose Aaron Vaughn uh, this Saturday. I'll be around with the chat box open here if you have any questions about either of those. For now, one with a quote, a collective breath, and I'll guide you out of the Savasana. But if you want to stay longer, please do. One more time is this group, exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, inhale. AJ. Mary Oliver said, you do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles to the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it was. Start to gently uh, deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes. And keeping your eyes closed if possible, roll yourself over to one side and make your way up to seated. What are your eyes open? And thank you so much.